Nice. Read this sentence for me and tell me what you think should go in here. Saki no waki michi. Ah, so this is very super cool mood to slip into. Okay, so saki no waki michi ni. Perfect. Super cool mood. Perfect. What does this mean? It means here, uh, I uh, just now. The the. I slip into the street that I've just saw. Yes. Or yep. The now. exactly. So it's like the previous street that the the previous um, uh, side street that I had some kind of encounter with. I slip into it. So this would be the last side street that was mentioned. Saki no um, wakimichi. Uh, so it doesn't really mean just now, but that this this is like, you know, will. So I will slip into the side street that I was somehow previously involved. The last side street I saw, last side street I talked about, something like that. Right. Our next word is nagameru. Do you happen to know what nagameru means? Naga. It has some something to do with the I it character. Does. It means to gaze at. For me, look at this kanji. This kind of looks like the Grand Canyon a little bit. So you kind of stare at the Grand Canyon. That's a nagameru. It is basically, you use it I... when you like stare at something in a like wow kind of way. So you wouldn't use this just oh. I see blank. And you also wouldn't use it when you're glaring at something. There has a little bit of like a nice scenery kind of um. I see. Meaning. Like an amazement kind of a saying. Yeah, it has a little bit of amazement in it. Um, and this right here actually is a new verb. Hmm. Um, what particle <laughs> do we think we'd use to say I gaze at the magical stone? Madoseki. Madoseki o nagameru. Yep, got some control. So this right here can be pronounced as Sheena, um, but I'm not looking for that pronunciation. Do you happen to know what the other way this could be pronounced is? Mm, no, I, I this is don't. Heen. Um, it tends heen. to be both of these will show up like equal amounts, um, but Heen is the one we're going to see in the next sentence. This right here means basically like articles or goods like things in a store for example or or a tool or something like that it's kind of like a generic goods wor word the kanji is kind of fun because it's kind of like um a bunch of boxes that have goods in them hmm. I yeah i've um, seen this kanji a lot in yeah. um like economics kind of a uh, vocabularies it is it like, would definitely pro show up produce goods a lot. or something like that yep can you read this word for me? Um, it's senri hin. Yes, senri hin. So these are goods that you kind of like got after like you had like a battle for something, like your spoils of war. Are you senri hin? Um, right. This like, right here like is booty. Tatakao. Yeah, your booty. B booty. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's senri hin. Yep. Okay. And next is the word taibo. You might recognize this kanji from taibo. Wait, do you know what it is down here? Taibo. Matsu. Yep, matsu. So it has weight in it. And then bo, you may or may not know nozomu or kibo. These are less common than matsu. I know kibo. Hi. Hope. Meaning hope. <laughs> so um, um, nozomu is like to make a wish, like um, negao. But it's uh, Nagao is more like I wish upon a star, and Nozomu is more like the the primal craving craving of the wish itself. That's why Kibo is like expectations of hope. Um, anyway, Taibo is like you're long awaiting for like thing. So something you were like, I can't wait to get this. Waka waka shiteru would be like Taibo can be used to describe that item. Um, <laughs> okay. So right Bible. here we got long awaited booty. Uh so can you read this for me and Hi. fill in the blank? Hi. So it's Taibo no Senri Hin. Oh. 
yep. I got made it. Yes. I gaze at my long awaited um my my booty that I've been waiting for for so long. Hi. Hi. Now let's go read the um sentence from the book. Hi. So theoretically, this could be that te we've seen. It would be the same. It really doesn't change much. But you can't really have to here because that would insinuate as immediately right when he entered that street, he looked at it like he didn't, he, didn't, he took like one step. And bam, right here, he's looking at the, he's, he's naga meddling. And he probably, you know, took a couple more steps down the street. He's not silly. Makes sense. So the whole um, sentence said, I, uh, uh, the, the side street that I've just before, uh, I, I slip into um, and then afterward I gaze amazingly I, I amaze at the long awaited uh, prize the long awaited uh, booty nice beautiful and next paragraph do you happen to know this kanji it's kuro, kuroi kuroi yep kuroi which means what which means black. Perfect. Hi. So now we're looking at Yori and Nohoga. I feel like you know Yori because you mentioned it before, but I have a lesson for it anyway. Um, for example, if I said um Yami Yori Madoseki Nohoga Kuroi, this would mean that the magical stone is more dark than the darkness. A very English sentence would be Kurayami wa. Madoseki no hoga kuroi, which is the magical stone is darker than is the the darkness. <laughs> uh, I'll take that off. Um, it just says the magical stone is more dark, is what we'd say in Japanese. Instead, we like the the have sentences with just yori. So rather than saying more dark, we like to say um, the magical stone. Sorry, the the darkness is less dark than the magical stone. So that's something we would never say in English, but it's like the opposite in Japanese. So that's just like a random, like interesting note about weird difference. Um, with learning with yori, because it means less than, a lot of times you could translate it as from, and it would still make grammatical sense, even though it makes a disgusting English sentence. So if I say from the darkness, the magical stone is dark. So you can kind of, so basically it's using this as a comparative word. So when you have darkness as a comparison, the magical stone is black. So it's a way to kind of also do that. Um, but literally it's just, this is less black than that. How do you think mm. you would say the boy is less big than the old man? Or from the boy, the old man is big. That case it would be uh otoko no ko yori uh chisan no hoga oki. Hi. What would be something that a lot of Japanese people would drop from this um sentence? They would They would drop uh no no hoga no hoga. Yes. They might oh, drop the whole thing drop... or they'll just drop the no ho. So you could say jishan ga oki or wa if you want to specify the subject. The height. So what they like to keep is the yori. If you want this to make it sound like a very English sentence, you would do the opposite. So it'd be the jisan no hoga oki, which is the old man is bigger versus the boy is less big. This boy one here. is less big. Great sentence. Opposite in English. Wait, the boy is uh, less big. Okay. 
Do you happen to know what the ta form of kuroi is? So kuroi, an e adjective. Hi. Ta form would be have to be the cut the ka sound, right? Yep. So, um, ku, ro. Uh, so this is normally is kuroi. Hi. So it's kuro. Not kuroku, kuro kata. Perfect. Yep, kuro kata. Yep, exactly. Was black. Soitsu is a way to say that guy. This can be used to refer to things and people. I would say it's closer to like a kind of weird way to refer to people. Um, and it's a way to kind of personalize, per peopleize things, like how some men like to refer to their cars. They'd be like, this pretty lady is kind of what toitsu tends to be used. So you wouldn't really use toitsu for like a random pen unless you really like the pen, I would say. So toitsu mm. and, ten, ten, and koitsu tends to be a little bit on like personalizing whatever object you're attaching it to. Um, okay. And it doesn't have any negative connotation, right? It just, yeah. th these things... It, it doesn't have a negative conversation, um, though if you use this for a human being, it is a little bit rude. Like there's there's better ways you could refer to a human being in the third person than saying soy to, but it's not like the rudest way, like the rudest way you could refer to somebody would be are. Are wa ningen desu ka? Be like, is that even a human? So are would be yeah. the that thing. Um for like you're 100 dehumanizing them versus soitsu so but I, I would say it would be best to not use soitsu toward other people but if you have to can't think of any other way to refer to them definitely use soitsu before you use ade <laughs> this, this would be super I... rude <laughs> or it could be ano anohito right anohito would be better than soitsu anohito would be Hi. what you could do Hi. um what does this mean? Soitsu wa kurokatta. Soitsu wa kurokatta. That thing is... That thing is black. Yes, but why is it in the was past? Black. Just like adding was. was that black. thing was black. Oh, um, oh. It just is because we're talking about something that happened in the past. So perhaps this thing's not always black. But he wants to specify mm. that right now it was black. Um, our next thing is no ni, which is not, well, I guess it's kind of comparing, but not what's up there. This is kind of like saying even though, but it's not an aggressive even though. Um, for example, can you read this sentence for me? Yes. Um, yami ni. Uh, this one is to hide. Yes. Um, I forgot the reading for this. Kakureru. Uh, kakureru. Okay. Yami ni kakureta no ni. Ikure no kimi. Wa mitsuketa. Hai. Ah, kakureta. So this so, is even um, though I hid in the darkness, hidden. the man of the twilight found me. Found me. Lord of okay. Um, so yeah, with no ni, as far as how we're learning it right here, it just needs to have the short form of a verb. So how would you say, even though I'm in the dark, that darkness is less dark than this guy. So soitsu is this guy, kuroi is um black. So when I said here, this darkness is less dark, I meant to say this darkness is less black. That's black. Yeah. Uh, and not goes inside. The dark. Yeah. So, so yummy. Um, even though I'm in the dark. Right. So y yummy ni yummy. To be in, so it's iru. So it's uh ita. So yummy ni it. Oh man. I'm just gonna do iru okay. right here. Yummy ni iru. Yummy ni iru. But I need to use the word no ni. So uh, so no ni I takes a short to, form. So dictionary form, um, nai form, and ta form 
all work fine for it. You just you can't use mass form or te form. Okay, so it's gonna be yami ni iru no ni. Um, so so it's uh, at darkness. So it's what is less. This guy. So, I'm sorry. It's not so it's what. I'm gonna add so yami in no... here for darkness. Yeah, soy suwa yami yori. And then this is this this guy. So this guy is like mm, quotes. Okay, I'm lost. So soy tsu is I, this I guy. Can... So is so this what guy. you have right here is even though I'm in darkness. Less than darkness, that guy. We want to have is black. It's, uh, so it's kuro, kuroi. Yeah, kuroi. And that's all you really need because of how things end. You don't do die. You could add this if you want it more polite. So it's what kuroi. Nice. Kuroi this. So what I wanted was no ni, na, no naka. To make it like more like even though I'm in the middle oh, of the darkness, God. kind of. Yami no naka ni iru no ni. Even though I'm inside the darkness, that guy is less black than this guy. Um, I just moved soy too because you looked like you were having trouble. But this is also the same sentence. No difference. Soy too wa yami yori kuroi. Nice. Um, can you read this for me? Yami no naka no kuroi. What does this mean? It means the darkness um inside of the shadow. Yeah. I mean the, the blackness the, of the shadow. The blackness of the inside of the darkness. So mm. kind, kind of a convoluted yes. sentence. Yes. Hi. Okay. So basically you can kind of ignore this toy you. It's kind of basically anything with no knee, you could have toy you on top of it. It's kind of just like adding extra words to this, being like, even though you could say blank, kind of, is kind of what it's saying. Um, but yeah, why don't you try reading this and let me know what you think it means. Yami no naka da toi yu no ni. Toitsu wa yami yori mo kuro kata. Hai. So less dark. It was less dark than that guy. Yes. So uh, this guy is so so the darkness that was he's kind of um so that guy is basically more dark more black was more black than the darkness basically in the sh I, we can just call it shadows for now. That seemed like a good word. So, toyu, toyu, toyu is kind of a mean like um, like to describe that basically. Yeah. It's, it's a description. So, um, to despite being in the middle of the shadow, he was darker than mm -hmm. the sh than the shadow. Even he was even yes. darker. He was even more black than the shadow. Exactly. Oh. That's basically what they're um doing. Nice. Now, kanji check. Happen to remember how this guy's pronounced? Yeah. Um, susunde iku. Perfect. And how about this guy? Kizukazu. Yeah, kizukazu. And last one, this guy? Um, Senrihin. Senri Perfect. Senrihin. Um, do you happen and... to know this guy? Chisai. Yep, Chisai small. Perfect. Um, do you know this guy? Omoi meaning heavy. Perfect. And can you read the sentence for me? Chisai seki na no ni omoi. Hi. So this can be pronounced as seki, like in mado seki. Do you know how it's pronounced when it's lonely? It is Ishi. Hi, Ishi. So this na right here is here because Ishi is a noun. So when you do noun plus noni, you add na. 
But what does this mean? It means even though it's a small stone, it was heavy. Exactly. Perfect. Um, do you happen to know this word? Sometimes we'll see this after it. It's aka. Yep. Or aka. Akai. Yep. Which a lot of times means red. And it commonly shows up in this word, which means baby. What's baby in Japanese? Akanbo. Yep. Akanbo. Yeah. Can you think about that babies, when they are born, they have really red faces? Uh, do you happen to know how this guy's pronounced? Oi, oi, what do we say? Oh, soy? Close. It does have o, but it's actually mo. Omoi. Mo. Omoi. Omoi. Hi. Uh, can you read this sentence for me? This will be our last sentence of the day, I think. A kanbo wa chisai ishi yori omoi. Hi. So, the. The small rock. Right. Ah, the baby is heavier than the small rock. Exactly. The baby is heavier than the small rock. So the small rock is less heavy than the baby. Which right. is pretty funny. Um, I think I will throw in this word. This is kobushi. Um, kobushi means fist. Kobushi. And fist. kurai ah. means like about or like it's like adding the word ish to words. This is not an adjective, uh, even though it ends with E. It's just adding the word ish to things. Ish, could I? Roughly. Yeah, roughly, yep. And um, somehow these got moved over, but this goes to that guy, and that guy goes to that guy. But can you read this for me? Sono ishi wa akanbo no. The fist is uh, kubushi kurai. Kobushi. I spelled it wrong too. Kobushi? Yeah. <laughs> Kobushi. Kobushi is a fist. Yes. Ah. What is this saying? Like, so, Kono Ishi, this stone, um, what's roughly about the, the fist of a baby. Yes. Was roughly the fist of a baby. That is actually a bad sentence. There should be like um another modifier on here. So you know, roughly the size or roughly the weight or roughly the blank. Uh, but I did not have that there, so it does sound weird when we translated that. <laughs> it's just right. roughly the fist of the baby. Does it mean it looks roughly? <laughs> What's going on there? We don't know. Uh, here's an example with the roughly the smallness of the rock. Uh, oh. But this one here is just kind of here letting you know that sometimes certain E adjectives will be changed to not adjectives. Um, in most contexts, it doesn't really change the meaning by much. Um, just sometimes they'll use na sounds a little bit more dramatic it's for in this kind of context. I say this like the dramatic implication. So if we say, Akanbo uh, kurai no chisaishi, sounds this plain. It's a rock small, like this is about the size of a baby's fist versus a kanbo could I know chisana you see makes you see like so small it's such a small rock it's like the size of a fist so that that's what this knot's doing there's a different knot right. that also can show up from certain e adjectives that occur there so it's easier to understand what the sentence is saying uh, but that's not what this knot is just kind of like the dramatic knot and that is where we'll be pausing for today. Make this one red. Yay. <laughs> so uh have a nice day. Any questions before we go?